Hey guys, welcome to the Ultimate Postkit widget tutorial. In today's video, we'll be talking about the customization of the Oros timeline widget. First, let's drag and drop the widget inside the page. By default, the widget shows a really thick timeline marker that has a start and end signature with dates and post details in between. The number of posts and post dates differ with that item limit control. But you can see how the widget portrays the post by displaying post images, categories, titles, descriptions, and meta. Now in the layout section, you'll find a bunch of switchers that you can turn on or turn off to show or hide certain elements on the display, such as image, title, text, etc. The image size option lets you change the dimension of all post images at once. You might want to go through all the options in this section. Next, in the query section, you can adjust the item limit to determine how many items will be visible in the timeline. You'll find a source option right below, and using the include filter, you can display only selected posts on the timeline. For example, we are selecting terms and then typing in a category name. Once the category is selected, you can see the timeline is now showing only the selected category posts. The exclude option works in the opposite way. There are some shorting options below you should check later on. You can use the shorting options to further arrange the lineup of your posts according to your preferences. Now let's move to the style tab. Here in the first section, you will find a bunch of options to customize the items as a whole. For instance, let's change the border width to 1 to make a thin timeline. Also increase border radius to round the corners of the markers. Then get inside the image section. By default, there's already a border added around the images. Let's customize the border width by reducing the value and then applying a very light border color. Add some padding to showing the images inside the border. There are more options here, so check them out later. Then directly jump into the category section. Here, let's change the border color of the categories. Then customize the border radius value. Also, add reverse colors from the hover subsection. Now just minimize the controls and check the final layout. You should be able to design more creative post timelines with the Overs timeline widget. That's all for now. Hope this video helped. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel to get updates on new tutorials and tips. Until then, stay safe and see you next time.